Hi, everybody. I'm Allison. I'm a data scientist advocate here at Observable. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly add interactive tooltips to your Observable Plot data visualizations. So in this notebook, I've already created a scatter plot chart that shows the relationship between horsepower and fuel economy for different cars in the built-in cars data set. You can see when I hover over any of these observations, nothing shows up. There is currently not a tooltip for this chart. To really quickly add an out of the box interactive tooltip, I can within my plot code inside of the mark where I want to add this tooltip, add the tip true option. And that's going to automatically add for any existing channels, the name of the variable and also the associated value. But I might also want to add some information about each of these cars that exists in the cars data set, but that doesn't currently exist as a channel in my plot code. I can add more channels by adding the channels option within my plot code, and then I can specify which additional channels I want to exist for different properties in that cars data set. So here I'm going to say I also want to have the name property show up and that's going to appear then in my tooltip alongside fuel economy and horsepower. So now I can see when I hover that I have the car name and the horsepower and fuel economy all showing up. I can customize what shows up in my tooltip a little bit more by adding a title option. And within that title option, I can access values from the data set, but I can also provide text to create, for example, customized labels. So here, for example, I can have a first line in my tooltip be car name, and then I'm going to access the car name property value. Then on the next line, I'm going to have gas mileage. And then here I'm going to access the fuel efficiency variable, which is economy MPG. And then I'll end this by saying the units in miles per gallon. And now when I run this, now I have a custom tooltip where instead of revealing all of the channels and their values, which is the default if you don't have a title option, now once I've created this title option, now I can see what shows up in that tooltip are my labels that I've created alongside those values that I've accessed for each of these cars. So we've seen we can really quickly add interactive tooltips, we can add additional channels, or we can customize what shows up in that tooltip using the title option. So thanks for checking out this Observabyte and come back soon for more.